Hello friend, are you sitting on your couch watching me? Yes you are, but you're not the only one. Television has become the American pastime. Our children, our elderly, ourselves, we are all affected by this epidemic. We have television in our cars, on our mobile devices, and in our homes. 99% of American households have a TV. 5.1 hours is the average time an American spends in front of a screen. Children ages 4 to 6 prefer to spend time in front of a TV instead of playing with their parents at a staggering 54%. And 40% of American families watch TV while having dinner. So what's the big deal? I'll tell you. One in ten adults is diabetic. That's 25 million. 79 more million are pre-diabetic. 72 million individuals in the United States are obese. One in five teenagers have abnormal cholesterol levels. Two in five children in America are obese. Folks, we cannot afford to sit in front of a television any longer. Huh, watch this. Wouldn't you rather do this? Yeah, activities! In the 1970s, researchers began to disseminate their work regarding the negative effects of television viewing. By 1980, investigators had produced more than 2,500 studies on the effects of television. These studies spread the gambit from toddlers all the way across the lifespan to the elderly population. These numbers have only grown since, with the invention of new technology and the maturity of longitudinal studies that were originated in the 70s and 80s, researchers are able to prove without any reasonable doubt that overexposure to television is harmful. Numerous articles have appeared in the mainstream publications such as New York Times, Boston Globe, or any of the local media outlets. Top U.S. universities like Harvard, Stanford, or Yale all summarize scientific opinion about the harmful effects of television in their respectful publications. Popular magazines like National Geographic's Health and Wellness or Living frequently advocate for us to put down the remote and start living our lives. The figures I mentioned earlier are but a few brief numerical reminders of what the recent re research and statistics has produced. The dangers of television boxes are not science fiction. They're science fact. The past approach to overexposure of television has mainly been to limit the amount of time that individuals spend in front of the boob tube. It has been suggested that the healthy amount of time uh, of television is approximately two hours per day. Then again, if we look at different scientific publications, we will surely find different numerical values applied to what is a healthy dose of television. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I came up with an easier way to limit your family's exposure to television. Just pull the plug. Get rid of it altogether. Get off the couch, wipe your greasy fingers off, and go live your life. I have been free of television for the past eight months. I save countless hours every week that I can apply towards more productive aspects of my life, like home improvement projects, exercise, or countless self-realization ventures that TV just can't provide. Last month alone, I scaled Mount Everest. There's no telling what I will do this month, now that I'm free of TV. Now, I understand that television is more addictive than heroin. 
I'm also fully aware that busy parents use television sets to distract their young children in order to have some time for themselves. It is much easier to mindlessly stare at a moving picture than it is to read a book. We use television programming as an escape from reality. We use it to pass the time and we use it to therapeutically numb ourselves. You know it's always there when you need it. Kind of like a bad habit. Having said all this, I would like to offer you a tool to help combat the ninja grip that television has on you. I have in my possession an instrument that will help you forget all about TV and improve your life. It is a one-of-a-kind mobile application. The content of this application will make you forget about television and give you back your life. It is called the No TV App. The features of this interactive, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious application will make you forget all about television. Let me tell you about some of the amazing features. You remember how I told you that I completely remodeled my house since I quit TV? Well, the No TV application has a variety of budget-friendly home improvement ideas that you could do yourself. Indoors, outdoors, it's all there. Just ask Billy Mays. This revolutionary application will organize your local and global news in real time. Now you will have no excuse for ignorance because current knowledge is only a finger swipe away. Another groundbreaking feature of this application is a list of local events in your area. If it's, ta if it's time to get out of the house, don't forget your No TV app. You will have the listings of your highest rated restaurants, live music, festivals, and all the local attractions in your respectable area. And for more advanced users of this application, I have included a daily checklist. This is for the hardcore anti-television folks who take their lives into their own hands. This revolutionary application will help you plan your day and fill in the gaps with life-altering experiences all at your fingertips. Of course, the basic features like a workout schedule, a fun and factual internet research, or a link to iTunes University will all come standard with every subscription to this progressive app. But wait, there's more. This innovative application comes with a special feature called Help Me I'm Bored. This pioneering feature has been especially designed for the moments of weakness that individuals in television withdrawal may experience. Simply touching the Help Me, I'm Bored button will select a healthy activity to keep the user occupied and his or her mind off the television viewing during the crucial stages of television withdrawal. This application is completely interactive. Users can expect frequent new updates to the content. You can take this application on the go in your smartphone or tablet device. It is also compatible with desktop computers and coming soon to Google Glass. Let me briefly discuss the collaboration efforts that went into designing this interactive application. To assist with the technical pieces of this app, I collaborated with Tom, the founder of Sobe Design Company. They specialize in graphics, multimedia, and website development. Tom has been a crucial part of the technical efforts that went into designing this interactive application. His guidance was necessary to move the project from the drawing board into the testing phase. The second crucial collaborator to my efforts was Frank Zagadlo. Frank was used as a test subject for this app. He was the first person to hear about the interactive features that would be introduced in this application. Frank's opinions helped to shape the uh, practicality and the content and simplicity of the interface of this application. Lastly, I would like to thank Eva Markovic. Eva is the healthcare practitioner that was given the opportunity to collaborate and express her opinions about the usability of this application in the healthcare setting. Her guidance shaped the application to become not only a source of self-improvement, but a source of health and prosperity for the end user. Eva was able to apply the revolutionary ideas in a clinical setting to potentially improve her patients' outcomes by using the No TV app.